Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. When last we left off, the Emperor died while making love to his wife. And now, I am Despot Stephen V of Wales. No longer an Emperor, now merely a King. It is now my time to start scheming against the Emperor in power. And I shall do so by starting an independence faction. I have founded a faction. New important decisions can be made. Demand independence. If you refuse to comply, the faction will rise in revolt. Hmm. We need to auto-invite people. People will surely want to join. I'm sure. I have founded the independence faction. Let us be sneaky about this. The last thing I want is for people to find out that this faction exists and then decide that they don't want me to continue living. Will you join my faction? You're unlikely to. Offer to join war. Oh, you're in a war, aren't you? How do I invite people to a faction? I can get my wife killed, but don't really feel like that. I have prisoners! They can only be released from prison, though, so... I'm going to leave them in there for the time being. How do you get people to... T I have 40%. 40% of a faction by myself. That is quite a thing. Uh, I cannot get you to join. At all. Hmm. It's not going to happen. How do you do this with the intrigue when you're founding your own plot? The following decisions can indeed be made, demanding independence. I have no wealth. I'm not happy about this lack of wealth. Got no money. Could it be the fact that all of my lands are covered in consumption? But that could be it. Might be a minor part of it. Be a minor part. List of op list of opponents. I've no idea what that tax exemption law did, by the way. I'm hoping it's not something terrible. It could have been something terrible. But I'm not earning much money right now at all. Not earning much money at all. Ah, no one has earned. No one has joined my faction. No one at all. How do I get people to join factions? I don't. No. Something's happening here, though. <laughs> You're defending against the invasion of Anatolia? Oh, you're being invaded! Well, you very well could lose this war. And then the Byzantine Empire will grow weaker. Will grow weaker. That would be a shame, wouldn't it? That would be such a shame. How oh, is my wealth doing? Poorly. My wealth is doing really poorly. I need more people to join this faction. That's what I need. That's probably because this is so... Oh, 4.91. That's a little better. I need more people to join this. This will not improve her opinion of you any further. Fair enough. It will not improve her opinion either. I need somebody who will easily sway the vote. That's not a lot of money. That's a little more money. Just sending out small amounts of cash here and there. But most of my vassals really dislike me. I'm not surprised about that. I just need enough people to vote so that I can get this through. <laughs> Over half, there aren't many people who are actually voting for me at all. I really just want this centralization to go through, because if I'm going to be by myself, I'm going to, be, I'm going to have a highly centralized government, which means I can have more... more domain. But so far, it's not really working out, is it? Ah, Pope Leo X is now in charge. I'm not joining you in your war, by the way. You can fight that war by yourself. Now will be the ultimate test as to if uh, this war can be won. You're going for what? Anatolia? Which I think is a kingdom. 
Ooh, that's a big kingdom. That's a big kingdom. So if you lose this, the Byzantine Empire loses even more power. A son was born! Marvelous. Called, um... Kordaf. Excellent. And, uh... You have consumption. If you die right now, it's probably not the worst thing in the world. I see that we're doing very well against both these wars. That probably won't last. What is this? We propose that my half-brother is educated by this person. No. Do you know who's going to educate my half-brother? Me. I'm going to educate my half-brother. I will do it. There we go. No silliness about you deciding who educates him. I will decide who educates him. How do I get more people to join factions, though? This is a question. Members. When sufficiently powerful, you may present an ultimatum. I don't know how to get people to join. That's the thing. Do you ask people? You're just like, hey, would you like to join? And they're like, no. Toggle special interests? Nope. I do not know how to get people to join a faction. This is the worst faction in the world. <laughs> Nobody wants to join it. Probably because everybody likes the Emperor. The Empress. Everyone likes the Empress. Wasn't it an Emperor a while ago? I'm pretty sure it was. Did something happen? Did a faction a faction might have appeared and demanded she become Empress? And they probably said yes. How many people are now agreeing with no one? Come on. It's not too much to ask, is it, that I uh gain this little faction? To be fair, domain too big, female heir, short reign, increased crown authority, high crown authority. Yeah, that's going to be a little difficult, actually. <laughs> However, this law will give me a fair few more bits of power, so I'm going to stick at it. Look, we're already losing this war against the Sultan of Egypt and Arabia. The AI is incapable of holding on to this power, which is good. Because I have personally no intention of allowing them to, uh... Ooh. Welcome them with a lavish feast. You gain the trait gregarious, and I gain the trait greedy. I already have the trait greedy. Let's welcome with a lavish feast and become gregarious. Oh, I lose the trait greedy. That's actually not good. I think I lose taxes from that. One of them has been severely injured. Lose prestige and gain piety. Seems like a good plan. Also, ignore what I said in the... In a few videos ago, saying that I can make an empire. Like my own empire. I don't have the DLC for that. I don't have Charlemagne. If I had Charlemagne, I could make my own empires and kingdoms. But I don't. Look at this war. It's going so well. No, it's not. It's going terribly. I have one more person voting for me. But that's it. One more person. Could I sway you to maybe vote on this? One way or another. Can I send you money? Yes. Hmm. Can I send you money? Yes. Can I send you money? Yes. Now, come on. Let's all vote on this so I can get more, uh... More domain. I wouldn't mind actually giving up Oriel if it meant that I could uh, hold on to all this myself and thus earn more money. How many people are now opposing it? We have 22 out of 55. We have a list of opponents as long as my arm. Can I give you an honorary title? This is the way I did it before. Honorary titles! There you are. Have an honorary title. Now will you vote for it? You might very well do so. There are some people who are a little on the fence about it. It's mostly uh, counts that actually are disagreeing. 
You've inherited all of the titles. And you really dislike me. You really don't like me at all. Ah, and you've declared a peasant revolt. It's a shame. It's almost like I kept things under control as the Byzantine Emperor for the most part. Oh well. Have fun with that. I don't know how many of these I actually need to vote. Is it over half? Is it 60%? We'll keep trying, though. I'm, I'm draining all of my resources doing so, but it's entirely worth it. Have 86 gold. Vote for me, sir. You will probably never vote for me. You will probably never vote for me. And I doubt you're ever going to vote for me. No, not really. You might vote for me if I give you some money. 91 gold. It's worth it. It's worth it to get this um, centralization law through. 26 votes. I don't know how many I need. I need at least half. Very close to half. We'll keep it going. Oh, there's a war going on here. Syngar wants to play with friends instead of studying. He can only play after school. That's just. Your daughter hardly eats anything for fear of turning fat. Temperance is a virtue. Ah! <laughs> just happy about how things are going now that I have less to take care of. Look at that! Look at that, that's ridiculous. On my death, I will lose a few vassals. A baron, who happens to have this castle, and you. But apparently, you're going to join this person. Fair enough. Can we actually change this law now, please? I've spent a lot of money doing this. Undoing all the damage that was caused when I was the emperor. There was a lot of damage, trust me. I mean, my vassal limit is so huge. It's huge. Anyone else want to vote for me? Have I already sent you money? No, I will now send you money. <laughs> Not exactly spending the money on anything else right now. This will improve my money anyway, because my domain size will be okay. Yes, there we go! High centralization! It's still 8 out of 6. Poor Uncle can teach a child all kinds of important lessons. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. It's f his father will be pleased. Oh yes. I suppose it technically does count as a foreign court. <laughs> so now we have to do this one more time. Because that only gives an additional plus one. I suppose we could technically give up Oriel. We could also give up a castle. I don't think I can give you the castle, can I? No, I can't. That's the problem. The castle's important, and I want to hold on to it. If anything, I'll give up Oriel. We'll give up Oriel to someone. Who would like Oriel? You are ambitious. You are the worst person to hand over Oriel to. I can't change the laws until 1390. 1390 is when I can change the law. And even then it will only give me an additional plus one. But I'm probably earning a bit... Yeah, I'm earning a bit more money. Ah, her son was born. My son-in-law. Excellent. There you are. All good. Okay. How's my independence faction going? No one is... I have a colossal amount of power right now. I could simply demand independence at this point. Hmm. We'll see what happens, shall we? I could just demand my independence. Just be like, hey, I'm being independent now. This is the position of Spymaster. I need someone who will like me. If I send you some money, you will like me. 
then you can become my spy master. It's important that you like me. If you don't like me, then we will have some problems. Also, apparently I can press this. Why? I'm only a two times duke. I see that um, these wars of yours are going really, really well. Oh wait! No, they aren't. They're going terribly. And with these wars going terribly, I will soon press for independence from your empire. I'd rather be an independent king than not be than be an e king under you, the emperor of the Byzantine Empire. We shall then watch the empire collapse around you. Because the chances of me ever becoming emperor again are a really bad one. I could I could make a lower crown authorities one, but currently I have 253% power just by myself. That is a lot of power. I could offer to join your war, but I'm not going to. Because this empire is going to collapse. This empire is going to collapse now that I'm not a part of it. There's a theory, actually, that um, I really liked. It's um, a theory about... Um, remember Geraint? Geraint the Bewitched? The one that did the uh, assassinations so that he could become my next ruler, and thus I would become the ruler of the Byzantine Empire? The theory is, that someone gave, is that Geraint hated the Byzantine Empire so much that he schemed so that I would gain control of it, and thus lose control of it, so that my actions would inadvertently tear the Byzantine Empire apart. It's a wonderful theory. It's a wonderful theory. Matrilineal marriage. Who can we marry you to that would be, uh, interesting? Prince of Hungary? Sounds good. Go for it. Matrilineal marriage to the Prince of Hungary. Could always do with more allies. Or at the very least, more, uh... There you go. King of Hungary is an ally. Marvellous. We're still earning money. Ten gold a month now. Five years' time, we'll go for that. For now, let's, uh, search for somebody to take over Oriel, shall we? Hmm. Prince of Hungary? Prince of Hungary might actually be a good idea. No, you're ambitious. That was a good idea right up until I saw that you were ambitious. You, on the other hand, good idea. Let's make you the Count of Oriel. There you go. Be the Count. And then, we shall make you the Chancellor. Actually, you don't like me that much. Now you like me. What was the Chancellor actually going to be doing at this point? Sowing dissent, maybe? That would be a good idea. Oh, sowing dissent between you two. You like each other a lot. Defending versus infidels, plus 75. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be changing that law anytime soon. We could sow dissent here, though. Just plan to eventually claim this territory back. So now our de jure is only 7 out of 6. Soon it will be 7 out of 7. Can I improve my stewardship? Become... Encourage her to be more patient. We need to cancel this one. We shall improve our stewardship. Seems like a much better plan. My half-brother lacks all ambition. Excellent. We don't want him to have ambition if it meant that he'll end up scheming against us. So when we come back, folks, I have 250% independence score all by myself. Maybe we'll, uh, plan to become independent. Until then, folks. Until then. I'll catch you later. See you then. Later. Will we be a ruler in our own right once more? I hope so.